If you are new to PowerPoint and you want to insert a chart, then there are two ways to do so. The first way is to click on the placeholder. Here you see the option called insert chart. You click on this option here and that takes you to this dialog box. When you say OK, you will be able to insert the chart and the accompanying workbook opens. If you don't want to go this route, you can use insert chart option. For that, go to insert chart and that takes you to the same dialog box and once again as you say OK, you will have the chart inserted. The next thing is to update these sample numbers with your own numbers. If you feel that the window of this workbook is too small, you can always take your cursor to the bottom edge like this and you can click and drag and that opens up more space for you. You can change the category items. Let us say instead of category 1, I am going to change this to the year number, so 2023 and so on. And you can change the series values as well. Let us say I want to change this as the number of gloves sold, the number of balls sold, etc. And whatever changes I make here, reflect immediately here. For example, you can see that this number 4.3 is represented here. Instead of this, if I were to change this to say 7, you can see instantly that change reflects here. Now you can add more categories here. Let us say I have a new category like say 2027 and then I want to add some more details here like say 5.3, 3.2, 1.7 1 etc. Then you can see as soon as I finished writing these numbers the selection increases to accommodate these values and you can see that there is a new category shown here. The same way if you want to delete any of the series or the categories you can select and then right click and delete and only this much is taken into consideration. You can see that the selection is still open for the series that we just deleted. To remove this once again you right click and delete and you can see that the selection is proper. You can always adjust the selection by clicking here and if you want only fewer categories shown you can always move the cursor like this and you can see that I have reduced the selection and even though these numbers are there what is shown in the chart is limited to the selected numbers here. Now if you want even more control you have an option to edit data in Microsoft Excel. You click here and you make the changes in Excel which gives you far more options for you to work with these numbers. Once done, you close. Now you have a beautiful chart available on your PowerPoint slide. For more tutorials, come to Presentation Process YouTube channel.